back, scale back the green It's a tennis match between all we have And all we want to have Am I feeling love again? Good morning everyone. It is Saturday here and we are getting up and having a normal, I'm just lighting some candles, but we're having, oh I gotta cut the wick. Don't forget to cut the wick on your candles because otherwise they form tunnels. Always cut them like a little bit. Sometimes I forget, but now I'm trying to remember to cut them all the time. Willa's over there like hiding a bit. I think she's a bit scared and confused of the tripod over there. Um, yeah, <laughs> and she's also waiting for food. So anyway, just lighting some candles for the morning. On Saturdays, like on the weekends, I try to do this every morning just to give us like a good relaxing morning. I'm gonna have some flowers from last week, so those are there. And I'm gonna light this one as well. Oh, shoot, 
I always do this. I have to put it on half. It was actually on cup and then only made that much. So I'm trying to make a half, so I have to do it all over again. But it's okay. You guys have seen me do my morning coffee routine. Um, and I'll probably put that full thing on like a morning routine. This is going to be... We're going to take you along a little bit in like just a Saturday in our life. Um, vlog kind of what we're doing. Obviously you saw a little bit of our morning routine. We haven't fed Willow yet, so we have to feed her. Um, and yeah, we kind of just take it slow like every day. But today Pat is technically off work. So... Um, he doesn't actually have to be on, so we have a few things planned just for us to do. We usually just sit here until Willow calms down a bit and <laughs> she's so excited. I don't know what she has her energy from, but okay, we're gonna go feed her. So feeding Willow, we use this bowl. Um, it just makes it a little more challenging for her to get the food out and it forces her to it's go slow. slow feeder bowl. Yeah, There's a lot of I'm really bad at bodies. holding this camera. And then pretty much just what we feed her is we do some pumpkin, just raw pumpkin, which is supposed to help with the consistency of her poop. Farmer's Dog, which is a brand that Julie is working with that we just add in and then we top it off with some kibble. Yeah. We're supposed to feed her like two, as you can see, it's like customized, which is really cool. So it says two packs per day, but we like to mix it in with her other food just so it lasts longer because it is a bit expensive. Um, so yeah, we'll put that in there like a little bit. We kind of use one bag, I feel like, for a few different meals and just lasts us a while and she loves it. And I feel like, I don't want to jinx us too early, but I do feel like she's been pretty good with like her stomach. Um, She don't want any part of me Red flags in the bed full of broccoli Loose cannon, honey looking for answers She think I'm handsome, calling me up to say song. She wanting champagne in the morning Venom in her purse and then she got imported Wait a minute, can't see if she a lieutenant Shorty got the boost, the alligators and something else Willow over there patiently waiting for food What? She's being patient for food Oh, I hate how you put water in there all right, let's see how she does. We're using boxes right now because I'm still waiting on a like stand riser for her. Okay. <laughs> but I haven't found like the right one yet from Amazon, so I haven't uh, bought one yet. But literally, we've just been using boxes that I got from pack PR packages, so. Like whoever is taking Willow out, the other person will make the bed. That's just kind of like the rule that we have. Um, usually I end up taking Willow out in the morning. Um, and then usually I end up making, remaking the bed that Pat makes. It's not bad. I'm very picky about like how it looks because we have this nice bed frame from Soft Frame. And I want it to be seen for literally no one but ourselves because no one's coming over. But I like to just try and tuck it in much as I can and make everything tight and neat like as decorative 
I just like haven't done it and I kind of don't know if I will while we live here. So, not sure. There. So, better. I used to have a blanket to put over um, our bed, but Willow pretty much ruined that, so I haven't gotten a new one, but I would like one. So today, this is where we pile our laundry, don't know why. Um, we're gonna go look, probably do something with Willow, and then I think I wanna like decorate our bar cart that we have that I got for Pat's birthday. Um, so I think we might go shop a little bit and look for some stuff to put on there. I think my brother might come over later. So really just hang out. Um, look how messy the side table is over there. It has just like all my random shit everywhere. But yeah, so we're probably gonna have breakfast. I'll get ready. And yeah, so for skincare, I actually don't always do my skincare in the morning. I was gonna show you guys a little bit of that, but I might just show you tonight because I feel like some mornings I like to just let my skin breathe and not put stuff on my face right away. So if I'm being honest, my skincare routine is mostly just at night unless I work out and then put makeup on. Like I'll shower and then put my skincare on. I'm not working out today, so weekends are usually off days for both of us for working out. Um, unless I book a class randomly, but I didn't do that. So probably just gonna make some breakfast. And then my shoes, which are so cute. These are Dolce Vita slippers. And I can link these somewhere for you guys. But they have this on the bottom, which I like. I also feel like I just like wearing slippers around the house. Um, I never used to do this, but I like it because, especially with Willow, it's like there's hair everywhere and I just need to not get hair all over my socks and my clothes. So, <sighs> yeah, that's it for now. Go sit down. How was your workout? You're dripping. Pat went to go for a run, which I literally, right before you did that, I was like, weekends are like usually when we don't work out. I like working out on Saturday mornings. Come on, go sit down. Come here. That same dream last night. That you were looking for me? No, I keep having this dream that like, I'm with like somebody who I used to date. The battery's fucking dying. And I'm just like looking for you, but like we broke up or something, so I can't talk to you. And then I keep waking up in the morning with like a relief. That I'm still there? Yeah, I don't know what that, but I have it a lot. So I can tell you what I have that dream like. Twice a week? Yeah, like a lot. I wonder what it's from. My insecurities. <laughs> I'm gonna leave your ass. <laughs> I don't think I had any dreams last night because I took the CBD gummies. Well, I did too, but. No. I feel like when I do that, I pass out and sleep. the wing CBD. Let me pass out. It's the best. It's the best, and I just got more in. It's I so good. So much better. Yeah. Saturday, we need to do something with Willow. Yeah, we take her somewhere. Take her for a walk somewhere or go. It's supposed to be decent out today. So I think we're going to try and find a park or somewhere for her. Although it looks like it's about to rain right now. No, I keep looking at the weather thing and it says like flurries. Like, I thought yeah. today was supposed to be like warm and sunny. Also, this is Saturday, but we definitely do not like sit down and have a meal most days. It's no. not on our normal schedule. No. We're usually sitting near each other when we eat. Or like we stand up, up there and just eat. We're going to go to West Elm and try and find stuff to make the bar cart like look good a little home decor shopping i guess julia got that for me for my birthday and we've never yeah fully finalized it but like, set it up the way we wanted when i got it for you for your birthday you were like oh is this for me not <laughs> for us i got him like a bottle of whiskey with it and stuff and i feel like we should get one of those like glass bottles that you put your whiskey in so that's like your favorite Mm -hmm. So, no, it looked pretty too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're getting sweet cream for lunch. Pat just decided. Even though we had it yesterday too. We both had it. Oh yeah, I brought yeah. it from the after salad. Your workout. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hot sauce. I actually really like this one. What is it? Chula something. 
but like every morning basically we put hot sauce on everything and we usually get franks but we haven't been able to find it so we got this one actually it's like very similar i like it by the time i sat down you were like halfway done <laughs> i was hungry picked out a little outfit to put on we're gonna go take willow to the park have her run around a bit so i'm gonna put that on okay so this is just what i'm wearing to go to the park and then i'm gonna get a jacket because it's Cool. Yeah, like what he said. Still wearing masks. So it's March. Next week we're supposed to be like getting in the 60s. Um, it's pretty freaking cold still. It's like 30, cold. 30 something. Um, so we're still like just wrapped up in coats and ready for the. I'm actually just ready to like skip summer or, or skip spring and go right to summer. It's snowing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, it's like flurrying, but it's supposed to be sunny later. I look also pale af. Kind of, I mean, she's getting better at walking, but it's kind of like a problem since she's so big. Um, she's wearing a fur little tip. You guys are into the dog training. We're gonna have a full video on that soon, but just a little tip right now. She's wearing a front clip harness. Um, and I think that is a little bit easier on us because when you pull her, it takes her whole body and pulls her to the side instead of like a, the other harness we have, which the clips on the back, she just has like full range to like pull forward. So, a little pro tip right there, even though we're not pros. Okay, so if you're wondering, stay below. How we keep the apartment somewhat clean? The answer is we don't, but I use these wipes that I get at our pet store. I don't know if you can see them. They're just gentle like puppy wipes. And I wipe her paws. Every time we go outside and come back inside um come here but there are these things on amazon that i want to look into they're like um something you like stick your puppies or dogs paws into and it has water and i think it cleans them so that's something that i'm kind of looking into because it kind of just is annoying at this point so yeah take this off in your oh Basically, that was a walk with her. And we're gonna get, I'm gonna get ready and show you guys a short, basic makeup routine. But real quick, this is kind of like, I got some hooks here that we keep our masks on, sometimes her leash and like other things. Um, I have two more that I haven't hung yet, but it's instead of like keeping it here because all our stuff was piling up here and I just hated how it looked. This is a basket basically full of like all Willow's stuff too. So it's not the right size and I'm kind of bummed about it, but Willow's like, who the hell are you guys talking to? So a simple how I kind of get ready, taking the beanie off. Also, by the way, sit down. You're going to sit up there. You're going to sit down, sit. So um, by the way, the beanie is actually from Zara. I don't know why I said H&M. It's from Zara. I don't have a link though. It's old, but they always have cute stuff in the winter. Okay. So since we... Went for a little walk and kind of did all that. Um, I washed my face and did skincare, but that's gonna be on a different video. I think I actually have a skincare video. So the first product, we're just gonna get right into it, um, is I'm gonna put some sunscreen on. So I use the Tula Protecting Glow Daily Sunscreen. It smells amazing and I just like wearing it. Um, I'm not one to remember to always wear sunscreen in the winter. Or when it's cloudy, oh my god. It smells like summer. Um, but this is one of my go-tos, is the Tula, and then I also use a First Aid Beauty one sometimes. So first I'm gonna use Alarm RCA Illuminating Primer. And I use my hands recently, I used to use, um, actually I'm just gonna put it like, kind of like this and all over my face. And I don't really even touch my forehead a lot. As you can see, my forehead is a little bit tanner than the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna rub that in. I use my hands, like I was saying recently, because I feel like it has just done more blending than a brush. And this stuff kind of, you can already see, it kind of gives you like a good glow. And so I'm not gonna be doing a like full face today because we're just going out for a little bit. Tinted moisturizer with also extra sunscreen in it from Laura Mercier. So that's the next thing I'm using. I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's here. So we're gonna put in. Uh, 
Oh, you think you earned that? Were you good today? Hmm. How'd you find parking? I fucking drove around for. Did you find it? Park good. Literally right out front. Those four spots, one open. Oh, perfect. Parking around our apartment is. We don't pay for it because we have street parking, but sometimes it's like pretty, pretty hard to find. Come here, Willow. I need to get my brows done again. Just brush them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use Alara Mercier Ultra Longwear Concealer. I use two colors, so I use 2N 4C. Um, I just like the light, but I also like to mix it in with a darker one because when my skin color is like always changing um, in the winter versus the summer. And I also just don't like the super, super bright look. I don't know why. I feel like it just looks very unnatural to me. So, and now, oh, I forgot to use this. I'm not gonna do it, but this is the other Tula skincare. It's the cooling and brightening eye balm, which I put underneath my eyes before I do any makeup or anything else. And it brightens them and it's just a really good product. I'm gonna go ahead with the Nude Sticks Sun Kissed. I use this on my cheeks and like across my nose and on my eyelids as well. It looks very red in here. I promise it's not that red. Okay, for some reason it looks a little more red in camera than it actually is in person and I'm not quite sure why. I recently I've been using the Milk Makeup Matte Stick Bronzer in Baked and I'll just take it and put it like, um, like as if I'm doing contouring a little bit on my forehead not too much i don't like a ton and then i'll go with a brush and blend this out so i'm doing like a really really quick basic makeup today i'm not even taking my time but i just wanted to show you guys like the products that i'm using um so next i'm gonna take this ciate i don't know Sayat dewy stick don't know how to say it um it's in gleam so it's basically like clear you can just see a little bit of my makeup on and i use this as a highlighter here, here, there. Using it today, and then on top of it, I'll use Laura Mercier in Devotion. It's a powder highlighter, which you guys might have heard me talk about before. Just a full hat day. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna go in with this Honest Beauty mascara, just to have a little bit of, I need a mirror here. It's hard to do so that's that and then the last thing i'm going to do today is just use this ilia beauty lip wrap just like um lip balm clear i use it as like you know it's kind of like a chapstick you know this are so dry because it's winter but it comes on you can see it's like shiny and like it makes your lips look so nice and it feels amazing okay and i'm using ocean lotion from Ose or oc still not how sure how to say that and I'm just using this on my hand because my hands are insanely dry. Like every second of the day, I feel like I'm adding new lotion to my hands and feet because it's just, they're so dry. Okay, so that is my quick run out the door makeup, no makeup makeup kind of routine. Like I barely have any on, but you guys know the products I used. So it's simple, easy, and I feel like I just, it's Saturday and we're just going out to do a little shopping. So I didn't want a huge amount of makeup on my face. So let's go. Okay, well, before we go, we're at a bar getting a drink. This is basically what we do every day. Besides that, as far as perhaps the Allagash White is kids. Okay. Cool. Fergie's. We're at Fergie's. It's just like a pretty good looking dive bar. Oh. Or what? I have pierogies. Pierogies. Yep. Do uh, vodka with club soda, oh. and then just top with a little cranberry. Slash cranberry? Yeah. Do you have a vodka preference at all? Tito's would be great. Tito's? Wow. Yeah. Can we do just an order of the mushroom and onion ones? Gotcha. Sounds good. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Mm. Vodka soda, people. Bone apple cheese. Oh, yeah. That hits. Yeah. There's not one TV in here. I know. Okay. What is this home? I don't know. I have no home idea. Open, what it's I think called. it's called Open House. Open House. I feel like we 
should get. I don't know if these are for coffee. Oh, coffee smoothies or pancakes. So that's not really alcohol stuff. I'm not for the booze. I thought it was like bitters. There's more back there though. Okay, let's go look. Oh, here, this is what we need. These are the glasses Pat, we got Yeah, you. Pat got me these for Monica? Yeah. For my birthday? Monica, Christmas. Oh, those are like lit cherries. Okay, what could we get here? That's gonna be like cool. Craft Spicy hot, 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 oh my God. Hot toddy oh. cocktail syrup. Spicy Spice margarita, margarita cocktail syrup. Just see if they need to be. But there's these two, they look kind of nicer. Or like two of We're these. You gotta refrigerate it after opening. Cause then you don't get the same effect. Well, what do we make the most of? You need something like this. Yeah, like, no, no, no. I know. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna look for at um, Grain Barrel. But this is like agave, grapefruit honey, ginger lime. Cinnamon, ginger, cinnamon, lemon. Yeah. Hot toddy. Don't oh, focus. I don't want just, we have to get at least two. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, this. Careful, I know, I see. Lot. That's like what we're looking for. Yeah. Might be, I can't tell if it'd be cheaper here at, or at Crate and Barrel, but. Okay, so we were at Open House, which is like kind of like a little boutique store in Philly. The best. Yeah, we got so many good things in there. So many. We got some bitters and just like things to add to alcohol for the bar cart. So nothing like decorative yet, but now we're headed to CB2. And I think we'll find some stuff. I don't know. They have so many good ones. Like even you could put like this there and get like some type of plant to kind of like oh, yeah. put out of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know? Go sit on that couch and how's Ugh. that compared to our couch? I would love this couch. You think? I don't know. Sit down. But <laughs> well, Willow would roof in this. I mean, we would have to cover it like we cover our couch already. It's really nice. Like this, I don't love that one though. And like these are like accessories, like that's cool. I don't know, we just need some stuff. Tools. It looks like our table. I don't feel like we need glasses. Like, I mean, I like that little, like that idea that's smaller that we could that put on there. I'm saying smaller. What? Well, like, I don't know. We saw Willow earlier. Yeah, yeah like if she knocks it over. If she knocks this over. So something like shattered. heavier. And it wouldn't break. Or like this. Yeah. Like stuff that's just not gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there smaller versions of that? Like that's cool to me. I like it. I like this too. It's not as like. They have it in silver up there. I think gold is the vibe. Okay, trying to decide between this, which is like a good size, but we could go really big. Except it's just gonna take up a lot of room on the bar cart. I think we'll be happy. Fine, with we don't have a ton of stuff to put on there. But you decide that one. Yeah. And the thing is, we're not gonna have stuff to put in it tonight, though. I have I have pompous crust. I can just stick in it and see how it looks, and I can always just get more. Okay. Just we're looking for like a here what it's called like a glass bottle that you can, like pour your bourbon or whiskey into. Like a decanter. decanter. Yeah, and like yep, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Do you have one specifically you're looking for? No, I think no. we're probably looking to look at a handful of them and make a decision yeah. out of so that. Yeah. So probably only have one. Maybe okay. two over there. Okay. Look at it. How far is that? From yeah. Here? Two blocks. Oh. Yeah, we straight. can maybe just go there. It's on like Broad and Walnut. So if you so go that way, make a left out of here and a left on Broad and make a right on Walnut, it's like the second building on the left. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's, that's more like... the one that we have. We saw it. We, I the think one that's we, up yeah, here. Yeah. It. I'm gonna yeah. see if there's any other ones back there. So give me one second. Okay. okay. Yeah. And they might—they have more like um, kitchen stuff. I feel like that's what they're more about. We've been up since 7 a.m. So we got one little vase, bust down. Um, and we're on our way to I think Williams Sonoma. I think they'll have more like kitchen bar type stuff. And then probably Crate and Barrel. We we stopped in on West Elm because they were right around the on corner. The walk. Yeah. On the walk. So yeah. That's fine. Okay, I don't think we're finding anything in here. 
At least we should just go to the last. Yeah, we're not making Perfect. decisions. We're making decisions, not. Yeah. TV too. That's it, right, right, right here. Oh, perfect. They're right next to each other. So we're going in here. Wait, this is pompous. We could like put in the thing we just got. Oh wait, that's kind of cute. Yeah, that's what I picked out. <laughs> that's cute for like orange and These limes are, like, and stuff. Decorative things. Hold that. They're bigger bowls here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, I love that. No, I love that. That is it. Okay, grabbing this. That'll be cool for like lemons, limes, blah blah blah. You know. In here for anything? Uh, no. No. We walked out with the one gold, like bowl though. Yeah. For the fruit. For the fruit. And then now I think we're gonna go get one of those like glass whiskey bottles at the first place we were at because we saw one that we liked. <laughs> and then I still want to find a tray, but we can go back to what's out maybe just to look. Yeah. The journey continues. We're back. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. This tray from CB2, which maybe for like lemons and limes. This was stone, and I'm gonna put pompous grass in it, I think. We got some like little bitters for drinks and stuff, and citrus agave syrup. This is a cute margarita mixer. Probably those, I think. Yeah. And then, this is the last thing, so it's a decanter, which will put like whiskey in this bottle, even though it's almost empty. Um, so yeah, just a few things to like start off the little bar part and make it look cute and nice. Okay, this is what it looks like for now. I feel like I'm still needing something, but we have books down here and that's the bar book and just a few others. I need like to fix this glass area, but then we have some coupe glasses, wine, shaker, and um, I think that's just go dye, but like chocolate stuff, just kind of what we have right now. And then up here, I'm gonna get some lemons, limes, put them here, glasses. Love this thing, it's very like vintage looking. Shot glass, or pourer, which I think could go down there. This definitely makes it with the pompous. And then these are the bitters, which I'm still not sure like where to put those or if they should be in like little glass. So I'll put the before and after. My dog and my husband are just making out, so. Oh, cuties. Okay, it's actually the next day because we went out to dinner. Dinner time. So I'm gonna cook. Pat has a lot of school work to do, so I'll probably be doing this by myself for the most part. But I'm gonna cook ramen bowls, which we've had before. We actually made this over the summer. I don't, I don't know if I included this in a vlog. Because we made this you together. Did. You probably just did it on your story, but not Yeah. Anything. So I'm gonna cook some ramen bowls. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the five minute egg. Why? Because I feel like they never work. Yeah. I want that though. Should we just try just to do like as boiled as I can? No. Not at all? I feel like we've tried to do hard boiled eggs recently. And it's our, out. it's our stove top. I don't think it is. It is, it like doesn't boil water. And then we need to find a trick to figure out what you can do to make the eggs more peelable. Because- I don't think, but, 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 shoot. But I'm not last, worried about it being overcooked. No, the but it was undercooked. Did, like they're undercooked, they don't cook all okay, the way. Okay, but I'm saying last time we did hard boiled eggs, right? Everything was hard boiled, everything was done. Yeah. But they wouldn't peel, so we ended up just wasting. Yeah. So. All right, we might skip out. the egg. For today. Are you gonna do shrimp? I wasn't gonna. Oh. You want something in there? No. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just veggies and. Is that literally all it is? Yeah. Well, no. Kale. Okay, so basically it's scallions, carrots, mushrooms, those are not it, garlic, and ginger. And then we have sesame oil, soy sauce, olive oil. It's supposed to be sriracha, but we only have hot sauce. 
vegetable broth, which is like the soupy part. Um, instead of ramen, I have rice noodles. They're like an Asian something. It's the same, I couldn't find ramen. And then kale. And it'll just be like a good soupy, hopefully it works with these. Laska sh spaghetti shaped rice noodles. It says it's good for stir fry. It's like the same thing as ramen, but I think it might be a little healthier because they're like rice. And they come in two packets like this. So. Just, it's hard to see me. I'm just cutting up all the vegetables now as you just saw. Um, I like to follow recipes when I cook because I don't <laughs> fucking know how to cook without a recipe. So first I'm using this wok. It's actually a oh, camera's on. It's actually a wedding gift. It's like this really nice big metal wok. And I'm just putting some olive oil in and I'm gonna cook on medium heat for a little until that kind of gets hot. I should probably do it this way. What are you having? No. Are you putting something in there? Ice cubes. Yep. No. Cheers. No. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. Alright, I'm working good. Well. Cool. Okay. Love you. Love you. Okay, so next on the recipe that I have right here that I'm reading from. Add in carrots, mushrooms, cook for three to four minutes until tender, and then add garlic, ginger, sesame oil, and cook for another one to two minutes. So I'm basically just going to put the vegetables in, cook it, and then, um, yeah, do exactly what that says. So we're gonna add in the mushrooms. Love that sizzle. And the carrots. And I have celery here. I just added in celery to the recipe. Babe? Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, next vegetable broth, six cups. Hopefully I have enough. I have another in the fridge and I think I might have bought another one. But I do measure this out here. It's gonna be almost two cups. I'm gonna pour that in there. I need two more of those. I just get like regular vegetable broth from organic vegetable broth from Whole Foods. I don't really know um, if there's different kinds. I see them all the time when I'm like shopping, but. Okay, like I said, I'm using soy sauce instead of sriracha. I'm just gonna do a few drops, just like that. I already did soy sauce, which called for four tablespoons, which is kind of a lot, and I usually end up adding more soy sauce in afterwards. Okay, so I just added the kale. Six cups of kale. This is what it looks like right now. So it just looks like a kale soup. And then I'm gonna add the Nona Lim noodles, which take like 30 seconds. So basically this is done until we're ready to eat. Okay, so this is it. You're supposed to put a five minute egg on there, but like we said in the beginning, eggs don't really work out for us. I'm gonna go bring this. Oh, it's really hot oh. and it's definitely not as good as last time. Why I don't not? know why. I just feel like it has less flavor, but you have to try it. It's really hot. Just, okay, don't put that much in your mouth at once. Okay, don't burn yourself. I don't want to burn myself. Okay. <laughs> he hates hot food. <laughs> it's still good. What is it? Are you agreeing with me that it's not as good? Yeah. What's missing? I feel like it's not like salty like it normally is. Does it need more soy sauce? More soy sauce. Like I feel like it's more soupy too than it usually is. Mm -hmm. Maybe because the ramen usually yeah, soaks it, it up. Okay. I do want some crunch on it though. Crunch? Yeah, like those crackers. Yeah, that's like for chili, not for ramen. Yeah, pretty much for whatever I want. <laughs> okay. It's good. Gonna go it's eat. Okay, so usually at night, I just brush my teeth and did skin care and everything. 
um, Pat will take Willow. I don't know if you guys have seen her great, but there it is. It's literally massive. Pat will take her out. I usually take her in the mornings. And now I'm just getting in bed. This is a really good picture of me. This is my little nightstand, the West Elm nightstand that I've gotten. This candle I love. Just tap it, it goes off. And it has a little flame. It's obviously a battery operated fake candle. Tap it and it goes on, which is so cool. A lot of my jewelry just freaking sits here. I don't know why. And then I have um, my winged CBD sleepy gummies, which I take literally every night. Um, they put me right to sleep and help me stay asleep. So I'm definitely gonna take one of those. My uh, lip mask from Fresh Beauty. It's the rose lip cream or does it say cream? Yeah, it does. And this looks so freaking cozy right now. I just want to like dive in here and yeah. <laughs> you want a sleep gummy? Yeah. Here. It's a little early. Oh, it's like 9 30. We're in bed. 9 42. That's all for the vlog. Yeah. See you next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we're gonna sleep. I'm the 